Hello there, this is Albert Alvarez. I'm a broker and realtor with the Ally Group Real Estate in Charlotte, North Carolina. Today I am on location at Crestwind Wesley Chapel, a wonderful new gated 55 plus community in Monroe, North Carolina. And I'll be walking through the floor plans and demonstrating some of the wonderful homes that they will have available here in the community. If you like this video, please make sure you hit the like button below, subscribe to our channel, and click on the little bell icon so you'll be notified of our future videos. Hey there, today I will be taking you on a tour of the Page Model at the Crestwind Wesley Chapel. Let's have a look. So here we go, the Page Model at Crestwind Wesley Chapel. As you can see, it's got a three car garage. This particular elevation is BH, that's the name of the elevation. It's Hardy Plank only as the siding. The Page offers 2,471 square feet on a single level. It's the three bedrooms three bath home with a flex room. Let's have a look inside. Okay, so as you enter, one thing you'll notice immediately, it's got a nice wide entryway. I believe it's probably about six to seven feet wide. And it's got the renowned high ceilings for a Coulter home. This particular model has a two double tray ceiling in the entry. And you can see it's also got some woodwork on the inside, which I'm sure is not standard. As we enter immediately to the right, you'll find a full bath. And of course it's very nicely appointed as all the models would be. And to the front of the house is a good sized guest room. This is a queen bed. It's got a couple of nightstands and a reach-in closet. I should point out that all of the portals and doors throughout the house are eight feet high. Sometimes they feel even higher because of their width. As we proceed further in, on the right-hand side in this particular case is a uh, flex room and it is open. Of course, they put a, a little desk in there so they are demonstrating that this could be a study and they do offer French doors. To the right, there is a coat closet. This particular model has a staircase leading to upstairs and we will explore that as well as the garage. Garage, as you can see, it's a three car garage. It does have an extension. So this is not the normal depth garage. I believe it's got at least a four foot and possibly an eight foot extension on here. It's very deep, very large garage, plenty of room for storage. And I did see a pull down storage handle right there. Very nice kitchen, good size island here. They've got a farmhouse sink in it. And you can see the size of the living area before we go there. What is this room? Ah, it's the laundry room. Nice size laundry room. It's got a sink in it, space for your appliances, as well as cabinets. And now let's have a better look at your living area. You got a very large, great room area. You can see the ceiling is quite high and it's got a nice tray in here. It's a huge tray. The beams I'm sure are extra, possibly not even available in the design center. You can see that there is a floor to ceiling surround on this particular fireplace. And I'll mention that fireplaces are optional in all of the floor plans. So just getting a fireplace is additional. And of course, building the surround to the ceiling that I'm sure is extra. Right here is your dining area. This table seats eight, but as you can see, there's plenty of space on either end of the table here. So I'm sure you could do a table to seat 10. Now you've got a little sunroom area here. And then one thing I will mention is that the standard for the page is a patio that goes from basically from this wall all the way down to the end 
that you can see there. So it's a huge patio. You do have the option to eat into that patio and create this additional heated living area. And here it is an all season room or we call it a sunroom. And I do notice something about the depth of this, this room. One of the options with Coulter is to add an additional four feet to the back end of the house and property. So what's happened is they've extended this patio and they've made it four feet deeper. And also this, this sunroom is four feet deeper. So that of course is an additional structural option because that extension is for the entire back of the property. It also affects the owner suite. So you can see this is a king size bed in the owner suite. It's got plenty of space on either side of it. Four feet are extended. And then of course you've got this really magnificent ceiling with the, uh, in this case, the wood beam treatment. Very nice. And then you've got your owner's bath. Good size, double vanity, single countertop. Huge shower and a tub within the shower glass, which is unusual. I will say I don't find this particular layout uh, available on the on the uh, floor plans on Coulter's website. So I wonder if they've done something extra special in here. I'm not sure if it'll be available, but it's something if you're interested, definitely inquire about it. I know it's not a standard. And let's take a look at the owner's closet. And unfortunately, I don't have a good wide angle on my phone, so you can't get a good sense of the size of this, but it's a very large L-shaped room with lots of wire shelving. I like this shirt. <laughs> and here we are again in the main living area. Let's take a quick sweep of the room. You can see a nice sized kitchen island there with a breakfast overhang that will seat four. Good sized walk-in pantry right next to the cooking countertop. And you'll see off to the side here, there's another door and we'll take a look at that. This is a full bath. And you can see a nice transom light there. Get some good sunlight in the room. And here is your bedroom number three. With a queen bed in here that will fit nicely with a couple of nice stands next to it. And of course you have the millwork on the side that you don't normally have available to you, perhaps in a design room, but I don't know. Now let's head back out and have a look at the upstairs. All right, so now if we go to the set of stairs leading upstairs, you can see quite a few steps leading up and you'll normally find that in these Coulter homes with the upstairs option. And that's because the first floor is so high that you have to have a number of stairs to uh, get over it. Okay, so in this page model, they've got an upper level and it's got a loft area along with a full bath down at the end and some unfinished storage. It is optional, I believe, to close off the upper level. In other words, put a, a door at the top of the stairs and wall it off to turn it more into a bonus room slash bedroom. You can see that it's not walled off, but there is a handrail here with wrought iron balusters. And this is in essence a loft, but you can of course put a bed up here and call it a bedroom. Um, all right, let's head back down and finish this up. So what do you think of the page? It's a pretty nice floor plan, isn't it? 
This model, uh, again, demonstrates some of the structural options available. We've got the four foot extension in the front. We've got the four foot extension in the back. In this particular case, the enormous uh, lanai has been split in half, basically to create the sunroom that we see behind me. Lots of options is typical of culture homes. As you can imagine, it's a semi-custom builder, so you have a lot of flexibility here. And I particularly like this floor plan quite a bit. So if you would like to explore it, please give me a call. Again, Albert Alvarez with the Ally Group Real Estate. My number is 704-957-2232. Please feel free to reach out. The community is selling very quickly. So as lots or homes are released, they go fast. So if you are very interested in this community, please give me a call. If you'd like to explore some others, please feel free to also check out our website, charlotteactiveadults.com. There's a lot of information there and you'll see a link below. Thank you so much for sticking with me to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. I will see you on the next one.